Hi, my name is Joshua Artes from BSHM2A and this subject is from NYSI and my issues a uh, biodiversity deforestation and COVID-19 and let's start good day to excellencies my respected teachers and my dear friends the topic of my speech is environmental issues environment is the surrounding in which we live it is the source of life our own life is dependent to the environment it directs our life and determines our proper growth and development good or bad quality social life and depends on the quality of our natural environment some of the environmental problems that i chose is biodiversity and covid-19 five biodiversity deforestation Deforestation refers to the decrease in forest areas across the world that are lost for our uses such as, as agricultural, coplands, urbanization, or mining activities. Multiple factors, either of human or natural origin, cause deforestation. Natural factors include natural forest fire or parasite cause diseases which can result in deforestation. How does the deforestation affect the environment? Deforestation has many consequences for natural ecosystems and it poses serious problems to the resilience of the planet. Let's take a look of the main effects of deforestation to better understand why it is bad for our planet. 1. The effects of deforestation on biodiversity. By destroying the forest, human activities are putting entire ecosystems in danger creating natural imbalances and putting life at threat and the forest is home to many rare and fragile species 80 percent of the earth's land animals and plants live in forest number two deforestation for food may lead to food insecurity in the future today 52 percent of all the land used for food production is moderately or severely impacted by soil erosion the lack of healthy Nutritious soil can lead to low yields and food insecurity. Number three, deforestation affects on and contribute to climate change. Deforestation also has a very strong contribution to climate change. Why? Let's remember trees absorb and store CO2 throughout their leaves. Firstly, taking down trees means they release back into the atmospheres that the CO2 they were keeping Secondly, fewer trees available means reducing the plant's overall ability to capture and store CO2. Both these effects negatively contribute to the greenhouse effect and to climate change. <clears throat> this is the conclusion. I think reducing or preventing deforestation is easier said than done. This is because trees are cut down because there is a um, first thing need to do so. Thus, to prevent the deforestation we must try to reduce that need by making smarter choice smarter choice in prepare usage city planning migration etc and this the covid 19 disease the global outbreak of coronavirus disease 2019 is affecting every part of human lives including the physical world that measures taken to control the spread of the virus and the slowdown of economic activities have significant effects on the environment. The outbreak of coronavirus was first emerged at the end of December 2019 from the Hunan Seafood Market in Wuhan City of China and declared such an international public health emergency in a couple of weeks by the World Health Organization. It is an, an infectious disease caused by severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS-CoV-2 What impact will COVID-19 have on the environment? The coronavirus has caused numerous negative impacts on almost everyone in the world. This airborne virus, despite its relatively short lifespan, has forced all concerned people to stay far from any potential carrier. The virus has many deaths worldwide and due to the necessary precautions has negatively affected the economy and has increased unemployment significantly. 
And the positive sides of COVID-19 on our environment, bakwa natin imposed due to the COVID-19 is unprecedented in human history or all the markets are shut down, places of worships are closed, public gathering is banned, travel restrictions have been imposed, but from climate perspective, the coronavirus pandemic brings about many positive aspects which the world is witnessing during the lockdown. Clean rivers and the water bodies have a significant positive effect on the aquatic life. Many species are returning to their natural habitats. Since induction of the lockdown, the closure of factories and commercial establishments has dipped down the pollution level across the globe. Not only the land animals returning, not even the sea creatures seems to be enjoy this break from the noise and water pollution. Here's Here's my conclusion on this topic. Encouraging people proactively and orderly participate in this battles, battle against COVID-19. It is important to protect the community from exposure to the infection. All residents in the potential risk areas were encouraged to stay at home, which is an effective way to block the transmission routes. Loyal community, health workers, and volunteers after the specific training and help implementing proper quarantine measures by providing support service such as driving patients to the mobile hospitals all those activities logistically managed at the community level and don't forget to follow the safety protocol stay home save lives help stop coronavirus that's all thank you